Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is Evil Limiter. This is a network monitoring tool to analyze network traffic between your host and the internet. We're going to be setting this up in Kali Linux and we're going to test it with two virtual machines, which is a Linux box and a Windows box. And we're going to limit some access to the internet and we're going to block some people. It's pretty much like a man in the middle. So if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. Thank you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is my Kali Linux box. I have a Kali box. I have my Ubuntu box, which is, uh, and you can check it out here. We have Ubuntu, and then we have a Windows machine. Windows 10 box. So we can see here we have Windows 10. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do an IP config on here. And then on my, I want to make sure all the. So the way this tool works, you have to be on the same network as, as your client machines that you want to limit the access. So I'm on the network 192.168.99 zero slash 24. So I want to make sure all my all my machines, even my um, my Linux machine, it is it's 192.168.99.20. Okay, let's make sure I can ping it. 168.99.20. I can I can reach it. And let's make sure my nope, I didn't want to open that. Let's go ahead and go to my Kali box. It's doing, I didn't want to open that. Oh, sorry about that. And if I could do an IP address, I can see my address is dot 12 on here. So if I ping that 99.20, I can get to that. And then 21. So I can get to both of my machines that I'm going to limit one and then block the other, okay? To the internet. So actually, before we actually start that, I want to show you that I can get on the internet from this box. So let's ping Google. Make sure I can get to it. Okay, I can get out to the internet. Let's ping DNS now. And I can ping DNS. So I'm good on the internet with this Linux box. I just wanted to make sure so you can see it before and after. Um, let's make sure we can go here too. I can ping the internet from my Kali box, but this is going to be my the attack box. So let's go ahead and ping Google for my Windows 10 box and I'm able to ping. So I'm able to get to the internet from all my machines. Okay, so let's get this bad boy started. So on my Linux machine, I want to go ahead and I want to X out of here. So I want to go ahead and this is the link, the GitHub repository for Evil Limiter. I want to put the link in the description below so you guys can check that out. And um, so pretty much what it is, it implies ARP spoofing and traffic shaping. So you can, you know, you can throttle people's traffic. So what we're gonna do first, obviously the requirements, you need to have a Linux distribution. Uh, you can't run this on Windows, you can't run this on Mac. Um, I have uh, I have Kali Linux, so that's what I'm using. Uh, Python 3 or greater is uh, required, so you need to have Python 3. All right, so let's go ahead and get the repository. So you can just copy this, get clone this, and the HTTP. I want to go ahead. Let me make sure. I can. I want to throw it right on here because I'm right on my root. So that should be fine. Let me clear this, and let's go ahead and paste that. Okay. So it's git space clone and then the URL. All right. So once this is cloned, we can do an ls to list the stuff in that directory, and we can cd to evil limiter and do another ls. So these are. This is the repository. I'm mean, excuse me. This is the directory files that are inside of limit, uh, uh, evil limiter. Okay. So the next thing is we're going to go ahead and install this bad boy. So you copy this. It's a very simple process and paste it. Okay. Let's hit enter. I'm going to go ahead and put my fancy password and we'll let that do its thing. Hopefully I put the right password. I didn't fat finger it. We'll give this a second to load. Yeah, there it goes, it's running now. So once this is done, 
we can go ahead and run the application. You just have to probably run it as root. So let's just try it. So now technically we can just put evil limiter. We'll probably have to run it as root. It'll probably give us an error. I just want to do that just so you can see, just in case you guys get the error. This is really slow, but we'll uh, give us some time. I don't know why it's okay. See it right here, it says error, run as root. So I want to do the same command, but I want to do sudo. And remember, this is running in a virtual environment. So depending on how much resources you throw at it and you assign to the VM, that all you know has to do with your performance. Okay, so this is my ethernet. This is the adapter. This is my gateway, 192.168.99.1 because those VMs are on that network. And this is my gateway Mac and it's on a 24 bit mask. So let's just make this bigger and I'll make it, I'll zoom it in a little bit bigger so you can see. And now if we just hit the question mark, we can see all the options that we have here. So we can go ahead and scan this will scan the 192.168.99 network. So technically it should see those other two hosts. I think it's 192.168.99.20 and that 21. So you can see that uh, in a second, we'll see. And then we have hosts. When you, when you type host, you'll see the hosts that are um, within that network. So you uh, list all the scan hosts. So let's go ahead and hit type scan. We'll scan that. We'll let that run do its uh, thing. We'll run 256 because it's a 24-bit mask, and hopefully it'll, it will find those those um, those systems. So it says five hosts discovered. Okay, five hosts. I wasn't aware of five hosts, but it's probably the gateway. Let's just see. So let's go ahead. If we look up, we can see the um, we ran scans command. Now if we type in host, it'll list everything. Okay. So let's type in hosts. And then we can see our hosts on that network. So I was, I'm not sure what these are, but we're just focused on the bottom two because those are the ones I know that are good and that are reachable from my network. So the first one, let, let me go verify which one is which. So 21 is my Windows 10 box and then I'm, 20 is the Linux box. Okay, so what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and block all internet traffic from my Windows machine. Okay, so from here, technically, let's go ahead and go out to the internet. Let's just go to Google. Oops. Okay, Google. I'm able to get to it. You see, it's pretty. So now let's go ahead. And the reason why you would do this is like, say for example, you have someone on your network that, or if you have a wireless network that you're on and you wanna you know, say, okay, you have a rogue device or something like that that you don't want assigned to your network, you can go ahead and block that traffic. Or if you have someone that's using social media all day or streaming videos or something like that, what you can do is throttle the bandwidth so it's, you know, it buffers and it goes really, really slow so it doesn't load and then they'll get frustrated and do their work, right? So let's go ahead and uh, get crack a lock in. So let's go back here, minimize this. So, all right, I already forgot. I guess my memory is that, that bad. So 21, so 21 we're gonna block, okay? So let's go here. And if we see the options up here, you see block, limit, free, and add. So add is like, say for an example, the IP address is not on the scans, you can go ahead and add an IP on there and free that will like just unlimit, uh, just delete everything pretty much so it can have free bandwidth so it's all free to go. Block obviously is gonna be blocking the bandwidth, blocks internet access, and limit so we're gonna be able to limit. So let's go ahead and go back up to the host or down to the host, my bad, and it's gonna be 21, right? So 21, we're gonna go ahead and block. So block, or not clock, block, block four. Right? So now any traffic that's coming from 192.168.99.21 is going to be blocked. So let's go test it. Let's go ahead and come back here. I'm on 21 here, right? So now technically, if I do ping google.com, it's not going to work. See? It's not working. Let's go ahead and 
This is on google.com. Let's X out of here. Let's go ahead and reopen. Go to Google. Now this is Joe on his machine coming back from lunch because he's watching too many videos or whatever he's doing. And now he's not going to be able to get on the internet. Okay. So that is blocking the internet for him. So now let's go ahead and limit. So now if we go ahead and type in host now, we can see here is blocked. Okay. So now let's go ahead and limit this bad boy, which is the Linux box. So we can just limit to, uh, they'll like this, 100K KB. So let's copy this and let's go ahead and type limit. Limit. Oh my God. Lim it. And then um, we want to limit three because we have to space and then we're going to go ahead and paste 100k okay so now if we do up oh, can guess we can't do the up arrow hosts now we see this one's limited and this one's blocked okay so now we're good now we can say okay we did our job we made sure these these devices are blocked or limited so now they're not going to be able to perform but now if you say to the you know whoever you say okay guys I want to make sure everyone is good to go. Like, I don't want to have any more blockage or any limitations on their bandwidth. What do we do? We can just go ahead and free. So if we type free, that'll, that'll free it up. So let's go ahead and do free for, and then we can type host. Now that's free. So let's go see if that windows box can get back on the internet. Technically, if we do this, IP config release renew. Technically, this is going to get back an IP address 21. And now let's see if we can ping out to the Google. Out to the Google. Out to Google. Did, did, did. So now we can ping out. Now that guy's free. Let's go back to the internet. See, this is before when we were, we were not able to connect to it. Now we can hit Google. Now we're back on the internet. So this. This guy, Sam, or whoever this guy is, is good to go, all right? So now we can go ahead and free up this limit. So let's go ahead and do that. Free, three, free three. All right, so now host. Now everything is back to normal. So now everyone can do exactly how they did before we made these changes. So this is pretty much sums up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions on how this tool works, it's a very useful tool. I've used it in the past and I just came around to make, you know, make this video for you guys. So hopefully until next time, enjoy. If you have any questions, hit me up and I look forward to uh, hearing from you guys soon. Take care.